Welcome back, everybody. This is Dak and Dude. Let me click the screen. Yeah, we're continuing the last part of this dungeon. Uh oh. Okay, it's called a berry. I wanted to attack it. <laughs> At least we don't have Princess we're two to worry about. Now what we do here... The fuck? Alright. Horse's ass. Die. Okay, I guess I'm taking that side of it. Anyway, let's hop back up on here. What we're going to do is we take the boomerang, and this will paralyze that thing for just a little bit so you can jump on it safely. Otherwise, it'll flare around and it attacks you, and it's not very fun. Put it that way. So, what we're going to do, jump up here. Oh, this is a dead end. Nope. This connects that one door over here that you couldn't do before. But that's one of those pressure switches. Whatever will we do? You might ask. Very simple, my young stalwarts. Remember those crates I told you do not destroy? Well, it only takes one, but still. Two is here to close. Set that down. And there you go. This is the very last parts of the dungeon. Like I said, it's, it's not a huge dungeon. <sighs> you know, Another gold sculpture. I was just tricked this. Throw it, it goes around. Go ahead and drop down. Now we need to go through this door here. I'm not too worried about the beer. <coughs> huh? Sounds like a lot of mice. It's not mice. That's not good. More jellyfish. Okay, we'll clear them out. That's not a problem. What the heck? Oh my god, it's a giant blowfish? How does it blow? Oh, okay. Bioelectric B -b boss time! And it's Barney, the bioelectric anemone. Now, what you need to do is you equip your boomerang and you cut off these tentacles. I think it's all detached about it. What he's going to do is, you need to take these out, trust me. You'll have a much easier time if you take these out. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a harder time, but just keep chucking that boomerang. And eventually you'll get in. Like I said, again. Dang it! 
stupid bombs. It says I'm using a control stick. I have not had this much trouble since I started playing this game. Now all you have to do is avoid these beams, which is fairly easy. Until it rises up again, then you just throw the boomerang. Wow. Fairly easy. Get striked. Struck by one. And that's the it. Boss defeated. Not really difficult. He's actually one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. If you know what you're doing, I mean. At least if you don't take out those jellyfish, oh my god, is he ever a pain in the butt? Oh, from his corpse we get another heart! We now have seven. What the? Rutu's there? Mm, don't know if I should go. I think there's another fairy. I want to say there's another fairy in here. I'm gonna see if I can get it real fast. Oh, rupee. I'll take the rupee. Another rupee. Okay. I know there's. I think there's a fairy in here somewhere. I might be mistaken. I think this is the last bottle. So, if she's not here. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought there was. I seem to remember there being a fairy, but there might have been another boss. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely. That's all. Just a little. Ah, we're free from Chapu Chapu's belly. Ah! I'm not even breathing right now because my nose is always underwater. I'm still in my mouth. Uh, you, you look cool, cooler than I thought you would. Anyway, just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. I want the spiritual stone. You mean the spiritual stone of water, Zora Sapphire? Don't you? My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright, I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora's sapphire. Great, I guess this means I'm engaged. So she just kind of swims over, then vanishes, and all of a sudden it's blue water and I have it. Odd. But it works. You obtain Zora Sapphire! This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession. You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to see Princess Zelda. That's in Declan. Don't tell my father. We never really talked to the king again, so that's not really a concern. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. more we can do here in Zora's Domain. We did all our stuff in a previous episode, so we're okay. 
Let's head back to the castle and coll collect the reward from Princess Zelda for collecting all the spiritual stones. Oh, I'm so ready for a reward for all this crap that we've gone through. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now what we do... Oh crap. A piece of art! Alright, that's pretty much all we needed with that. It's gonna be faster to go this way, actually. We get money while we do it. I think there's a couple other things we can get, but I'm not really that overzealous for it. We should stop by and see that bean eating guy again, I think. Okay. We want to go over here. Little bean eating dude. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about it? 20 rupees? Sure. Talk to him again. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They are getting to be quite popular. Yeah, I'm the only one buying them. 30 rupees for one? You increase it by 10 rupees? What the heck, man? Magic beans, if you want the plant beans. Now, these are going to become very useful later. Much later. Like I said, that kind of stuff, I'll leave until last. I'll do probably like a couple special videos showing off different things, but we're just going for a straight playthrough right now. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna 100% this. So if you're expecting 100%, um, you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> I play games, uh, let's see. How's this going good? I mainly play just for fun, show everybody have some good games, fun song. Okay, that's what it was. And they're gone. Let's not have to worry about those guys any longer. That makes me very happy. Very happy man. Indeed. Indeed. I'm not going to approach the gate itself for right now. One more thing I want to do. Alright, we equipped the bombs. Oh. I guess we are going to do this cutscene. This is strangely familiar, like my dream! Oh god, it's the badass guy! Um, hi! How's it going? I'm Ken. Ark, I've lost her! 
You over the air, kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. <laughs> you want a piece of me. Very funny. I like your attitude. You pathetic fool. Do you realize do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Dan enough, and soon I will rule the world! I don't know which voice I'm trying to go for. Every time I try a voice, it kind of cuts out on me. <coughs> Stupid throat. I'm gonna kill that son bitch. You just watch. Mm hmm. You just use me. But, before we go and grab that, I'm going to show you a little secret. That's well, kind of a secret, I suppose. Two of them, I guess. There's some magic there. I think it's this one. Oh, one of these had something. Yeah. Nope, okay. Had the bomb down there. There we get a treasure trove of stuff. Five rupees. I know it's not much, but it's a quaint little secret. I thought it was cute. That's a neat place to get a fish if you need a fish. Not that I ever think you actually need a fish again, but that's not the point. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna jump off into the moat. Hey, Zelda threw this. Let's go pick it up. I want to try and be there. There, as close as you can to it, and you found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure, which Zelda has left behind. It glows with a mystical light. Ah! Vision! Ken, can you hear me? It's Zelda. Ken, when you hold this ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I can leave you with the ocarina and this melody. Song time! You've learned the Song of Time! Now, Ken, play this melody in front of the altar of Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Oh! Strange. Whoa! Navi! 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 Get, lay off the coffee, Navi! Alright. So we've got our Ocarina of Time. I'm going to try and show you guys this trick. That you hurt a little bit, but you get 20 rupees. 
So if you keep pressing forward, you can automatically zip into the town and take no damage and get 20 rupees for free. I think you can do that like once every once in a while. There's nothing I have to pick up because I've already done the two things. I'm not going to do the happy masks. They really don't serve any purpose. Eventually you get a mask that you can talk to these stones and they give you little game tips, but that's about it. There's no real point to it. The Temple of Time. Now keep in mind, remember this symbol on this pedestal thing here? Remember there was one in the forest if you go back in my videos in the forest. I botched that up. Damn thing. Dang it! I know, Link, I know! Well, at least we got rid of that tree snot. And the door opens for me. I mean, this game, I will collect the Triforce and become the ultimate power. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ken, isn't that? It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. I'm gonna collect it. I'm going to claim the Triforce for myself! What? You! <laughs> Very scared. Excellent work. As I fought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. I'm secretly in love with Zelda. What? Ken, wake up. Ken, the chosen one. I am Ra'uru, one of the ancient sages. It is a go. We ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light situated in the very center of the sacred realm. This is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword. The evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the Pentacle of Time is the final key to the sacred realm. Ken, don't be alone. Look at yourself. Man, people to hit me like a ton of bricks. Just slap me right in the face and call me mama. 
Okay, look again, you're big now, you've grown up. The Master Sword is a sacred blade, which the evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title, a hero of time, can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you are too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was to take sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? I just woke up after seven years and a half for you to tell me you kept me here for seven years because you didn't think I was ready. Gotcha. <laughs> but remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the guru, the king of thieves, used it to enter this so forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the king of evil. His evil power away, dear, from the temples of Hyrule. In the seven short years he turns from Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power has now as little influence even in the sacred realm. Namely, the Saber of Sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains, when the power of all the sages is awakened. The sages see us will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Ra'u, Ra'u, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add the might to your own. You've received the Light Medallion, Raur the Sage adds his power to your own. Find the other sages and save Haru. We're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice in the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there, holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must select for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time awakening in the first temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But, if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko village. Do you understand, Ken? Sure. See, I have to exit this area and come back in. If there's one item that I'm, well, I don't need it right now, I suppose. 
But this is going to be the end for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.